Hello my friends, welcome again. So here I am in the dashboard. I have opened the table plus and we have the only one user and also I have opened the uh, VS code. Okay, in this video I'm going to work with the uh, user management and create, update and delete users. Okay, so if we go here and go to the create, we need to add a form here to create a new user. And for that, I'm going to copy what we have in the authentication and the register blade. And I'm going to copy the form. Or I'm going to copy all of that, just copy this one and pass in the create here so I remove this and paste it here save and come here refresh yeah we have this kind of thing uh, we don't need the confirm password so go and remove this and we have a username and I see here uh, copy this and value and the same thing for the first name and the last name and paste it here okay refresh now we have only the password we need to change also the route to go to the users dot store and yeah that's it now open the user controller and here we have the store method if we go to the authentication and register controller here we have the create method of the users i'm going to copy this one and when we have the store pass it here and change this to request and like this just here we need to add this one we need to import the hash okay yes but we don't have the uh, validation and for that i'm going to create uh, artisan make request a user request user store request okay and copy what we have here and paste in the request user store request Paste it here, change this to true, confirm, remove the confirm because we don't need the confirmation and that's it. Now here we need to add the user store request like this and I'm going to return redirect to the road user index and maybe I'm going to with a message and the message is going to be user Register it successfully. Okay. In now in the index blade, we need to add here. So check if the. I'm just going to paste it here 
So if the session has a message, go ahead and display that message. And we need to try now to say if we have something wrong. So user name, I'm going to add the Taylor Swift and Taylor the name, the last name, add the email. Come and register, and uh, yeah, we have user register successfully, and we have the Taylor Swift here. Okay, so we can now go and create as many as we want. If we go to the table plus refresh, yeah, we have here. Now I want to add the edit button here. So in the index we have this, I'm going to add a link to go to the road edit and we need to add the user ID here, edit. And I'm going to add a class with uh, BTN and BTN success. Save and come here. Refresh. Uh, root edit not defined. Root. Ah, yeah. User. Dot edit. Yeah, and we have this uh, edit button here. If you go here, we don't have anything, so we need to... I'm going to copy what we have in the create. And uh, in the edit, pass it what we have here. Just uh, change the register update user and uh, also the method is going to be users update and we need to pass the user id here and also the method is going to be put and uh, yeah we need now to add here the user username and the same thing here user last first name user last name user email and we don't need the password here and this one update user ok save and refresh yeah and we have this kind of thing update user but uh, I want to add the button here to go back not click here so here we have the uh, update user and add another one without the link and we need to go to the road users index and add the class of a float right and back here, save and refresh, go to edit, and when we had here the ah, yeah. 
I cut it from here and we need to paste here, save, refresh and now we have go back here, okay, Taylor Swift and now we need to update okay, so here method and go to the update controller here we don't need the show method, remove this one edit okay, and here I'm going to use user user and uh, user update and uh, I'll co copy this here and paste it here okay update the username last name first name last name and email and uh, I'm going to create a new request user update request and copy what we had here and in the pass it here we don't need the password Now we need this one to be mail, not unique, because he's there. And save. And now here we need to add the user update request. Okay, save. And now save. We need one more. I'm going to return and redirect update it okay uh, refresh and here i'm going to change this uh, taylor swift this one and uh, update this action is unauthorized uh, go to the request because I forget to change this to true okay save and come here refresh so change this to swift update user and now we have the Taylor Swift here okay oh one more thing I want to delete the user here and uh, with that when we have the edit I'm going to add the form here form method post and action is going to be the road users destroy and we need to pass the user id here okay down there add the CSRF token and also add the method to be delete and I'm going to add the button with a class of uh, BTN and BTN danger delete I'm going to add 
the username here user username and close the form save and refresh and now we have this uh, delete title swift uh, cut this and I'm going to add this in the div with a class of uh, margin 2 and padding 2 refresh yeah now if I go here when we destroy I'm going to user user and user delete but the problem is if we are so if I go back and go and edit so if I am John Doe here resistor I don't want to delete myself because here he not uh, explain if we want to has uh, an admin or set roles are optional and permission optional okay so I'm going to make a if sentiment so here so if if out user id is the uh, uh, same as the user ID return redirect back or yeah redirect back now I have direct in the road user syntax with message you are your self and otherwise delete the user and copy this one and paste it here delete it successfully so here if I refresh now and to delete John Doe you are deleting yourself, uh, go to the Taylor Swift and delete the Taylor Swift and we the user deleted successfully. Okay. This is for this video, hope you enjoy. Uh, and if you like, like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Thank you very much.